It is established that in our Milky Way of a hundred billion stars, there is at least a hundred billion planets going around those stars. Ten years ago, we didn't know that. So when you go out at night and you look up at the sky, you can do what no one has ever been able to do in human history. You can actually say, every star I see probably has a planet around it. It's not a supposition. It's not a philosophy. It's not a guess. It's an observation. And nobody has walked this earth has ever been able to say that before. But there are at least a hundred billion galaxies out there. And in each one of those galaxies, there's a hundred billion stars. And that tells us there's a lot of planets out there. In scientific terms, 10 to the 22. And so the question is... I like the at least. Yes, <laughs> I, I, at <laughs> least. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Because there are probably multiple planets around each one of those stars, like there are in our solar system. And today we know this. And so the question becomes, are we alone in the universe? We need to go look and find out. And we're building the tools that will enable us. It may not be the James Webb. The James Webb will tell us maybe there's liquid water, which is the first step to life. But we may get very lucky. But we're on a journey for the first time in human history to find Earth 2.0, another home. We do have this incredible opportunity to be unified by this realization that we're just one planet of many planets that are out there. And we do have to work together if we're going to persist long term as a species. And I, I don't know, I guess I was filled with hope meeting the scientists in this project and knowing some of the telescopes that also you're planning for the future and the things that we can do. It's, beyond it's, beyond the, what? Yeah, beyond what? Right. Beyond that. The question is, do we have the will? And you're talking about so, struggles on a societal level, political level. Sure. Part of it is, you know, we just can't get with this feeling that we're not at the center of everything. You know, there's, there's, as you once said, you know, there's another village and, oh, gee, there really is there and there are other people and there's another continent and all this. And that kind of goes on until you get to the end of the earth. But then you say, wow, but there's this big universe out there and we can go elsewhere and we have to go elsewhere. I don't know. I have the feeling we've only had 400 years to have that begin to penetrate our consciousness. It, that's not very long. 